listen i had said previously that the best way to enhance safety is by installing surveillance but do you know the smartest way the smartest way of enhancing your safety is by installing an alarm system because no one will see it coming so i will be taking you through an alarm system and uh, let's go so an alarm system is a mechanism designed to detect unauthorized access intrusion or other threat such as fire gas leak alert of the property owner you can also have an alarm system to alert you on emotional stress yeah? the ones that monitors your pressure your blood pressure and all that so still that's an alarm system because it's your safety you're talking about they're commonly used for bu for business purposes at homes in vehicles all that benefits the same way we say remember it's security so it uh, deters theft it provides rapid alerts and also reduces response during crisis and also often required for insurance com uh, compliance uh, what are the types of alarm system that we have uh, initially had captured in the first part but this being the fourth part i will capture for you we have the burglar alarm that one to deter entrance alert you whenever there's an intuition in your house we have fire alarms this one specifically for fire so you, through smoke sensors and uh, heat detectors they will give you alert when there's fire carbon monoxide those uh, uh, to the to detect uh, what we call the harmful gases or fumes personal safety the ones i was talking to 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 check on your pressure and all that or distress or manner monitored system and unmounted system very important though for the smartphone system then we have the main components of an alarm so the main components of an alarm system one we have a control panel the motherboard this is the control area of, of everything this one has to be discrete and indoors then we have the sensors the sensors now the things that uh, give the signal we say they are the transmitter of the signal so whenever you have sensors maybe to detect motion so whenever an animal passes or a, or a person passes through they are the one to send the signal to the control panel and then the control panel will alert other uh, important uh, uh, computers like the communication module or the siren and all that and the siren will also activate the cctv which means if you have integrated the cctv you can view if it's happening on maybe on your backyard you can view and see who is there or what's happening in the back there then we also need battery backup very important then uh, let me take you through the procedure the procedure is obvious like any other procedure we did it in the first part and we have been doing it for every part because we are now focusing on this so first plan on the layout how do you uh, how can you access your property what are the entry point what are the vulnerable points so these are the places you're going to zone out as your alarm zone points then choose the component for the same so if you are protecting it against fire then you need to go for sensors you need to go for fire control panel you need to go for the rest but if you are doing burglar then you need to get maybe the grass breaker uh, component for the same and all that then decide on whether it's wired or wireless install of control panel very important once you have decided you'll go ahead and start with the installation of control panel then from the control panel uh, of course the control panel here is powered completely well, then thereafter you will have to install now the sensors at the zones that you had marked then thereafter you will now connect the cables and the, the cables here are usually the positive and the negative because these are dc only the control is the one that is powered from the ac power supply the control panel but the rest it become now ac and then from there you'll connect the the, the sensors that can be the motion detector can be any kind of sensors it can be the smoke sensors and all that then connect to the siren siren is the one that gives you now the signal that something has happened the one that shouts there the one that gives you a loud bang that the siren it can be a buzzer it can be a speaker wherever it is we also have strobing lights the one that uh, shows you light yeah, depending with the system that you're using then connect and sync the component if you have a system let's like, say the smart system then you need to sync in the components and the components might be an app can be maybe uh, a smart uh, panel board that you can control from there uh, you set up the keypad if it's for the app and all that and then without forgetting test the system you need to arm the system and then act as if you're an intruder in your house and then see if it works 
then what are the mechanism to for you maybe to put it off ensure that you do that once you're done with that you are free to hand over this uh, system to the user and first educate the user so that the user doesn't go through a lot by making noise through maybe activating the alarm him or herself uh, these are just the diagram on how we can do the zoning remember the diagram for the wiring diagram i'll just show you there so the other part is the 3d and the other part is the the, the floor layout and how the zones can be controlled the where place the control panel uh, you can pause the video and also be a view it closely zoom it out and learn more and then here is the wiring diagram for this one we have just picked one diagram and this case is the addressable uh, fire alarm system remember we have different types of even fire, fire alarm system fire alarm system is one of the types of an alarm system but in between in in the fire alarm system we have different other types of fire alarm system like the conventional the addressable uh, in that manner uh, there also the basic fire alarm system the integration options remember we said you can integrate with the system surveillance you can also integrate with your uh, gsm where you can view you can control it remotely with your phone the smart app or also remote arming and, and disarming very important uh, the legal consideration with alarm uh, they're not many but uh, always consider the local alarm regulation the noise restriction remember the siren and the, the issue to do with the national environment management act the NEMA and let's focus on that privacy uh, privacy issues when integrating the cctv cameras that one applies now to the surveillance system maintenance tip monthly system test ensure you are testing it even if you happen not to receive guests yeah and let's test it assuming you have a system on your vehicle it's good to test it sometimes because it might be faulty and then you find your vehicle 